Good morning. It is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Jump date for Wednesday the 4th. All right, let's go. Well, as far as official setups, let's go with the CCJ once again. Notice I did adjust the parameters a little bit on that one. Not a bad day in the portfolio, especially considered the overall market conditions. I don't want to get too excited one way or the other, though, just because we had a good day on a bad day. But it does, obviously feel pretty good. ELF triggered and imploded. I actually went ahead and took half my shares off. I did in a qualified account. I did buy puts and was able to flip out half at nearly a double on that one. If I'd have been a little more patient, I could have got a double, but I didn't want to let it retrace. Anyway, when you get a huge move like this, it's a bit of a gift horse. And if it works out, you still have a position on. Now, this was a little bit, it wasn't an obvious discretionary type of thing. And I did talk about this a little bit earlier on Facebook just to give everybody a heads up on what I was doing. It just felt like a gift horse. Uh, these shorts, as you know, can bounce quite a bit and still be in a lot of trouble. And that can be quite painful. Go ahead and lower your stop on KBH. We had a nice little move there. We'll take a look at those in just one second. Boy, LFMD was off to the races, just defying gravity, but unfortunately came back in, as you probably know. CCJ is still an official setup on the day. We have the entry now right about the or right at the high or just below the high of that TKO move. So people waiting for it to take out that high, you'll be in right before that happens. And sometimes you get a little push from that. Kind of a tiny bit of a front run, but it's still an entry because it's over a couple of points away. Anyway, a couple of shorts in here tonight. I don't see any reason to go after anything new. And some of these do have a little support down below. Of course, that would be a good problem to have if we made it all the way down to support. Keep an eye on some of these uranium stocks. I just want to put the physical uranium in here looking kind of interesting. There's another physical uranium that I have in my other list in the in the major mix. We'll take a look at that in just one second. Before we do that, let's take a look at the portfolio and then we'll hop out obviously the overall market and take a look at a few things. Uh, ELF imploding nicely in here. Again, I just felt like it was a gift horse. Uh, looking at the uh, looked at my equity, which I know is a mistake, but looked at my equity and said, you know, a eh, big slide like that, it could easily bounce right back. But I went ahead and took uh, half on that one. I think once the options hit, it kind of woke me up to thinking that it was a gift horse. Anyway, hopefully that made some sense. We can certainly discuss it if you like. KBH imploding nicely in here. Go ahead and bump your stop down on that one i'd feel a little bit better once we bang out that ipt we're getting fairly close on that one last time i checked take a look at k and f a little bit of a dip there really didn't come unglued though all things considered but obviously on your stop just in case and lfmd boy this one was off to the race it's looking like there was no stopping it but unfortunately came back in by the end of the day but it's had a pretty good run he tried to say as of late could probably use a little bit of a correction uh ugly day as you would imagine a couple things let's take a look at down here before we get started First of all, bonds, as you can see, begging on new lows with vigor. This is uh, this is just ugly. You like to see bonds bounce on a stock market slide like this. You hate to see them headed lower. So bonds down, rates up. That's just not a good thing. Dollar a little bit higher in here. Dollar remains pretty strong, as you can see. Let's take a look at, here's one of those uranium. There's another one in here. There, That's the other one I was looking for. As you can see, beginning to pull back. In here, so maybe spot uranium might be a way to establish a little bit of a position, get a little exposure to uranium. Now let's hop to the overall market. Look at the P's imploding in here, down about a percent in third. Lots of Landry light below that 30 simple moving average, banging out new multi-month lows with vigor. And now's the time to start looking at overhead supply. Anybody who bought above this level here, anybody who got excited over the summer, the first summer in a while that the market really took off, is now a hurt and pup for the most part, at least through early june i do believe yeah through june yeah all of june so let's take a look at the nasdaq composite apple of course uh didn't really come on glue but down a little bit in here so keep an eye on these previous leaders as i've been saying quite a bit nasdaq composite bit of a slide there down about nearly two percent not too far from these multi-month lows but did close at a multi-month low so this is a little bit of stealthy action here when the bar gets masked within the recent lows. But when people realize that it's closing at new lows, sometimes I can put pressure on the market. And then also take a look at all the overhead supply we have to deal with now, kind of like the piece, a lot of trading above. So it's got its work cut out for it at the least. Gold, eh, see, this is what I don't like. No place to run, no place to hide, no flight to safety. 
in gold, no flight to safety in the bonds. You really want to see something rally on a day like today. Take a look at the Rusty, continue to slide in here. It looks like it wants to come down here and challenge the bottom of this wide and loose crazy range it's been in forever. Energy's down a little bit, but not looking too bad longer term. Make sure you wait for entries on anything here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of setups here just yet, believe it or not. As you go through these areas, you can almost just go through you can almost just go through them one by one, sector after sector after sector. There's financials breaking down to multi-month lows. Looks like they want to go down to all-time lows for not, not all-time lows, but October lows in here. As you go through them again, many of them breaking down as you would expect real estate banging out new lows with a little bit of vigor. Re utilities actually bounce a little bit, but they were so over so I guess they were due for a bounce. Again, as we go through these, almost it's almost Almost should go through all of them just to show you how ugly it was. Uh, defense and biotech and manufacturing and MNC obviously breaking down with KBH and all those guys. It, leisure, take a look at that, continuing to implode in here. So as you go through them, again, sector after sector, that was retail, diversified services. So just flat out ugly out there. Hardware didn't come unglued, but it still looks poised to continue lower. That's that's pretty much just Apple, though. Let's take a look at software, though. Software a little bit more indicative of what's happening here, especially in technology, banging out new closing lows with a little bit of vigor. Let's take a look at the semis, and we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Maybe take a look at utilities, too. Semis getting whacked pretty hard in here. Not the end of the world, but certainly ugly. And you know me. I sure like to see the semis rally in here along with the overall market. But neither of those things are happening, so I just have to follow along. Utilities, again, bounced a little bit, but they they have... They've imploded as of late. This is just a little bit of a of a bounce. Nothing to get too excited about there. So I think that's it for tonight. Sorry I went a little longer. Just want to cover up a lot of things and show you how ugly it was. Not that you <laughs> didn't already know, but uh, when you're really as close to it as I am and you're looking at all these things, it, it could be a little ugly in here. Now we're oversold due to bounce, but that in and of itself is not reason enough to go long. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much.